Yo, what is up guys? Shellness is back here. I'm back with another unboxing for you. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. But if you already are, welcome back. Now my One Piece fans. I'm loving what's going on in the Wano arc right now in the anime. If you guys aren't caught up right now, now is a good time to do it because the anime is getting really good. And today we're going to be doing a double unboxing. We're going to be unboxing two of my favorite characters. Luffy and Nami, and their Wano nicknames are Luffy Taro and Onami the Konoichi. If you guys watch that Wano arc, you know what I'm talking about, but I'm not going to spoil anything. These two figures are by Mega House, and I believe it's their Portrait of Pirates, Warriors Alliance, Mega House figures. And these came out a little while ago, so I'm late to the party, but it's better late than never. We're going to be unboxing Zoro in another video also, but... I'm really happy I got these two figures in hand right now and let's check out these boxes. So this is how the front of the box looks like for both of these figures right here. They both have the cutout that show both of the figures inside for Nami and Luffy. And what I like about Nami is like her cutout, these kind of look like sliding doors, like those fancy doors that slide open. So that's pretty cool about Nami. And she has the gold kanji right there. And these are both Portrait of Pirates Warriors Alliance. Luffy has the red kanji right there. There's the Mega House symbol right there, and it says Excellent Model Limited Edition, so that's how the front looks like on both sides. On the sides, you can pretty much see Nami has the gold kanji again, and I just love the poses that they're in, especially Nami. Look, look at that figure, but, you know, Luffy's pose look badass also, and like I said, it shows more cutouts of the figure. In the back, you pretty much see the Japanese lettering, pretty much all the copyrighted stuff. The sides, once again, Nami has the nice kanji. Luffy has the red kanji right there with the cutouts. And then, this is how the top of the boxes look like. So, I'm loving where I see overall. Now, let's see what's inside these things. So the packaging is really good in both of these figures right here. They're both trapped in plastic and I wouldn't expect anything less from Mega House. One thing that I noticed right off the bat is that the bases look nice on these figures. When I did my Aniplex unboxing for Demon Slayer, the bases were black and plain, but these here got some nice decorations and colors to them. So we're going to get both these figures out the plastic and let's go. So this is a closer look at Nami inside the plastic and from looking at it, it looks pretty straightforward. We can see she's protected even further by these little styrofoam sheets right there. We have some plastic right there. So Nami looks pretty straightforward and when it comes to Luffy, Luffy's a lot bigger package overall than Nami. But with Luffy, you get him, the base, you get the samurai sword right here. I'm not going to go too in depth with this sword right here. That's probably for another day. And he also has a toothpick in this little piece of plastic right here. And like I said, Luffy has these styrofoam sheets protecting him also. And like I said, guys, the packaging is really good on these, but let's get these guys out of the plastic completely. So this is everything that comes out of the box for both of these figures right here. And I'm holding Nami because she can't stand up on her own. Neither can Luffy. He's leaned up against the rotating display base right here. And you guys can't display these without the bases. So you guys need that. I want you guys to take that into consideration. But if we take a look at Nami, Nami only comes in this piece right here and this one right here. And when I say I like these bases, look at the orange and gold color right there. That's a lot better than the Aniplex figure that I unboxed. And... Her foot's going to stick through this little peg or rod right here. She has a hole on the bottom of her foot like that. The only thing that concerns me when it comes to these type of figures is that if I ever lose this base or this thing breaks, Nami pretty much becomes completely useless because I said she can't stand on her own. And another thing about Nami, check out the physique right here. When it comes to Japanese animators, they do not play around when it comes to making these female characters curvy. You can see all the curves on Nami, but I'm not complaining. The figure still looks beautiful now. Let's talk about Luffy. Now when it comes to Luffy, his base is pretty much red and it has these gold wave designs on it. So I think that looks really dope. And it has these three small little pegs on it. Not that high, but I'm assuming one leg has two holes in it and the other one has one. So, so if we check out Luffy, yep, he has one hole right there and then two holes right there. So that's how he's gonna connect on this base right here. Now I gotta check out this man's samurai sword cause you guys know, when I do my Demon Slayer figure reviews, I go in on their Nichirin sword. So let's check this one out. This one has some nice designs on it. Check out the details on it. Yeah, this looks spot on. Like I said, guys, I'm not going to get in too much details about this samurai sword because I don't want to spoil anything. But 
This sword looks amazing. And also for toothpicks, they give you two of them. So I guess if you lose one, you have another one as backup. But let's get both these figures put together now. All right guys, we finally got both of these figures all put together now, and I just love what I see right here. I love the pose that Luffy's in. I love the pose that Nami's in. When it comes to both of these figures, Nami is at about 8.9 inches in height. She's taller than Luffy, and Luffy is about 6.63 inches in height. They're both made out of ABS and PVS, and I believe they're both 1 8 scale figures, meaning they're both 1 8 of the character's height. And I just love Luffy's pose because Luffy's pose looks more dynamic than Nami's. He has this samurai sword behind him, he has this other arm pointing forward. With Nami, she looks more like she's about to take a picture. Hers is more museum-like. And what I love about Luffy is that Luffy has his red kimono on with the little blue patches on each side. He has a smile on his face. But you know, when Luffy has a smile on his face, you can't take that lightly. And Nami, well, her kimono, hers is blue and orange, and it kind of makes her reveal all the curves that she has in her body. I guess the Japanese animators love that. But Nami looks really curvy, but she looks amazing also. I like how Nami has the gold coins on this hand right here, and she's a Kenochi when she wears this outfit right here. I've watched enough Naruto to know that Kenochi means female ninja, and when you look at it, she has these two fingers pointing upward, so it looks like she's doing a jutsu, so Nami looks real badass. The only thing that concerns me when it comes to Nami is that, like I said, I hope her rod on her base doesn't break off because then she'd be useless because she can't stand on her own. And I also hope she doesn't lean forward over time. So I'm going to trust Mech House that they got it right. I'm going to pray she doesn't lean over. And when it comes to Luffy also, he can't stand on his own. So I hope the base is able to support him for a long time also. And also, when it comes to his toothpick, you got to be careful when you're putting it on. I feel like I was going to break it when I was putting it on. So you have to kind of wiggle it in between his teeth. So be careful when it comes to his toothpick. So let's take a closer look at Luffy really quick, more specifically his head scope. I think they did a really good job here, especially with the man's expression. Luffy always smiles like this, so I like that they got that right. You can see the scar underneath his eye, you can see the toothpick, and I also think they did a good job with his hair also. If we look at behind Luffy, like I said, I think they did an amazing job on the samurai sword right there. You can see the details on the handle part, so I think the sword looks really good. And take a look at Luffy's muscle definition right here. You can see the cuts on his body. You can see the scar on his chest and stomach. Luffy looks really good. Another thing that I like that they did when it comes to attention to detail is check out the man's fingernails. So they added some coloring to his fingernails. You know, I thought that was a really nice touch when they do small things like that. And let's take a look at his red kimono. If you see right here, you can see all the wrinkles. You can even see some shading in it. See the man's sandals. And his feet look a little dirty like they have some worn weathering to it so i think that's pretty dope for this blue design here they got that right they got the little stitch pattern right there so i think luffy looks really good now this piece behind here where the sword goes in i think it's called a scabbard and i really love the paint job that they did here this is also one of my favorite parts about this figure here i love how the purple and dark purples look the gold at the end take a look at the back you can see more of the shading you can see some of the wrinkles so i just think luffy looks amazing and hey, we got to check out the man's straw hat so but before we do that take a look at those muscles right there in the shading i just love that and with his straw hat you can see kind of the scars at the top the three scratches and i just I'm, i love this figure right here and this is just to give you an aerial view of how the figure looks like. And I just love how they make the hair look with the little bun on top. It matches the kimono sort of culture that Japanese people do. And once again, you can see the fingernails on this hand right here. So Luffy looks really good. Let's check Nami out. So when it comes to the Nami's face scope, I love the job that they did on her also. You can see the details in her eyes. Check out the orange pupils. You can see her eyelashes, her eyebrows. And when she smiles, you can see the tongue and her teeth inside. So that's pretty dope. And when it comes to her orange hair, it has shading there. So you can see lighter areas of orange here in her hair. So I think Nami looks really good. 
So if we take a closer look at Nami's left arm, what's cool about it is that she has a log pose on this arm. So that looks dope. And with this little arm bracelet, this hangs freely. So that's pretty dope. But she also has the pirate tattoo right there. So that's cool about that arm right there. Like I said, that arm carries some gold coins on it. Nami wears a blue and orange Japanese kimono sort of outfit. And take a look at those curves right there. <laughs> When it comes to the back of Nami, you can pretty much see the orange bow behind her and it has shading in it also. You see some of the wrinkles in her kimono outfit. So Nami looks amazing overall though. What's interesting though is that this leg right here looks really bow-legged from this angle. So I love the idea of the pose that they got Nami and it's really cute looking but we all know Nami is a beast also when it comes to the whole Straw Hat crew. And this is just to give you guys an aerial view of how Nami looks from above. And you can see, like I said, the details on her hair. You can also see this blue ribbon right here. So Nami looks good overall. All right, guys, that was my unboxing of Luffy and Nami, a.k.a. Luffy Taro and Onami the Kanoichi by Mega House, their Portrait of Pirates Warriors Alliance figures. And I think these two look really good together. I can't wait to unbox their Zoro figure to see how all three of them look together. But I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe. Catch up on One Piece if you guys are watching the anime because this stuff right here is getting really good. But thank you guys for watching. Peace.